let's move to this statement of profit and loss a limited group consolidated statement of comprehensive income for the year ended 31st march 2019 right so here these captions i have taken from the same right, pnls they have provided in this sum revenue cost of sales then we have gross profit other income those other expenses then profit before tax deducting tax expenses then profit for the year this one here see this profit for the year we need to allocate between whom between whom between the parent company shareholders and ncr profit for the year attribute attributable to parent company shareholders and profit for the year attributable to ncr this allocation we need to make right that is the requirement in slfr step profit for the year need to be allocated right group profit for the year need to be allocated between parent company shareholders and ncr then we have one other comprehensive income component that is gain on retirement benefit benefit plans so we need to consider that one as well so this total comprehensive income also we need to allocate between parent company shareholders and ncr right profit for the year as well as total comprehensive income we need to allocate between parent company shareholders and ncr right have you ruled this one okay right we'll start a limited group consolidated statement of comprehensive income for the year ended 31st march 2019 right what we do here what we can do here This is the PNL, so statement of comprehensive incomes of these three companies: APLC, LPLC, and OPLC. Apple, Lemon, and Orange. Those are the three companies, right? And I have allocated a column for the adjustments, and then in the last column, I'm going to have the final figures. Right. First, APLC is what? we are preparing this consolidated statement of comprehensive income for whom for a limited group a is the ultimate parent right then what we can do here in this column what we need to do we have already discussed what we need to do we need to consider these pnl figures as it is since this is our parent right revenue figure 874000 cost of sales 427500 therefore gross profit should be 446500 right. other income i'm considering these figures huh? i'm considering these figures Other income, 39,900. Admin expenses, 98,800. Distribution expenses, finance cost, and other expenses. Therefore, profit before tax should be what? Hundred and twenty five thousand. Hundred and twenty five thousand. Hundred and twenty five thousand. Right. Tax expense forty five thousand six hundred. It means profit for the year should be seventy nine thousand four hundred. 
And we have gained on retirement benefit plans that is 7,600 other comprehensive income. Therefore, total comprehensive income should be 87,000. 87,000. Right. So, this is with respect to our parent company, Apple PLC. Then, Lemon PLC, this one. Can we consider these figures as it is? Can no can't. When do we have acquired Lemon PLC? Api Lemon PLC acquired again at the end of the When? See, we have acquired Lemon PLC on 1st of April 2016, well before our current financial year. Ape current financial year ekate kali kali na mukadde. We can consider the PNL figures, these provided PNL figures as it is, right? Since we have acquired lemon PLC well before our current financial year, right? Revenue figure, cost of sales. So gross profit figure should be two thirty one. Double zero. Other income, administrative expenses, distribution expenses, finance cost, other expenses. So profit before tax should be 29,300. Tax expense 7,600. So profit for the year 21,700. There is no any other comprehensive income with respect to Lemon PLC. Right. What about this one, Orange PLC? Can we consider figures as it is? Can no count? How can we decide that based on the acquisition date? See, we have acquired Orange PLC on when? On 1st of April 2018, that is exactly what? That is exactly the beginning of our current financial year. Okay, how do the Patangan Kotamatamai of your orange PLC acquire Karaginati? Then this orange PLC will remain as a subsidiary for us for how many months? For 12 months. Throughout this financial year, orange PLC will remain as a Subsidiary may appear financial year, master dollar mama, orange PLC, a bit of cow villa din, subsidiary right? So we can consider these figures as it is. Make a financial year, a medahari kunana, got We need to consider these values proportionate. So these figures represent for a financial year for 12 months. It's a good. A subsidiary capilla, cochera calia, kitty, the current financial year catholic. The only A and one pakra non. Never proportionately be considered grand, but here we can consider these figures as it is, since we have acquired it at the beginning of our current financial year. The income. Administration expenses, distribution expenses, finance cost, other expenses, and we have a tax expense of this much, other comprehensive income 1400. Right, right. So we have done that part, right individual figures of these three companies we have considered. Then we need to do certain adjustments. So what we need to refer, what is the column that we need to refer? That is the what? group retained earnings column. Group retained earnings column. This is the column that we need to refer. Right. First we have this 11,541. This is what? Finance cost. 
this is associated with this contingent consideration in another three years time the value that that a limited needs to pay is 40,041. But when computing the investment as at the acquisition date, right, we need to consider the present value of this. And we found that to be 28,500. This difference, 28,500 and 40,041, the difference is what we have got here 11,541. Right. This amount belongs to how many years? Me, Colostas, Fancy, Hatris, Auru, the key amount to cut me reflect with. This reflects for how many years? From 1st of April 2016 to 31st March 2019. It means for how many years? For three years, right? For three years. So we need to find the amount that, right, that is relevant for our current financial year. Me kolostas pansi atri sekai kile kya ne minne me auru tu na te madala finance koste ka. Yeta kote. Apni balad non mukad. Apni current financial year ka madala. Finance cost take a go over there here. How can we find that? How can we find that? This is the present value. We need to find the future value of this 28,500 as at the beginning of our current financial year. I will take it here. Right. Right. Here. First of April two thousand sixteen. First of first of April two thousand sixteen. Our financial year ends on thirty first March two thousand nineteen. Present value we have found to be 28,500 of this 40,041, which is due in three years' time. It means as at 31st March 2019. This difference, the total difference, is what we have taken here as 11,541. Now we need to find what is the amount relevant for our current financial year which begins on 1st of April 2018. How can we find that? How can we find that? Here. From this date to this date beginning of our current financial year. What is the time period? What is the duration? That is two years. That is two years from 1st of April 2016 to 1st of April 2018. Two years. So we need to find the future value of this 28,500 after two years time. Tedas dasi hatrai eka tirami visiata das pansi year. Tedas the hate hatrai eka viti kiyak vinama. We need to find the future value of this. How can we find that? Future value, how can we find that? Present value into 1 plus i to the power n. Right. Present value that is 20. 8500 into 1 plus i 1 plus what is the rate what is the rate discount rate here it is given in the sum discount rate is 12 percent right 
discount rate is 12 percent 0.12 to the power n so after how many years we need to find the value after two years so the value of n is what should be the value there to the power two. 35,750.4 since we have one here I will consider it as 35,751 35,751 50 consider 35,750 right now what is the difference what is the difference here 35,750 to 40,041. What is the difference? 40,041 minus 35,750. The difference is 4,291. This is what? Don't me hard as this is the finance cost. This is the finance cost. Finance cost of the current financial year. Then, after varshe ta adal finance cost ka kiya the haradas desiya anu ekka. Right, four thousand two hundred and ninety one. Four thousand two hundred and ninety one. Statement of profit and loss. 4,291. Under which caption we need to consider that? Finance cost, right? Finance cost. We need to consider the current financial cost here. 4,291. 4,291. Contingent in 4,291. Right. So we need to add another 4,291 for the finance cost as an adjustment. Okay. So we have done with that. 11,541. We have done with this. Then here. The next item we are having is what? Unrealized profit by selling of an equipment. Unrealized profit generated by selling an equipment. Who has sold to who? A has sold to Orange. Apple has sold to Orange. We have the working. See? What is the amount? 1,900. Yes, this one. Point F. A has sold to orange. A has sold to orange. Right? The selling price is 9,500. Unrealized profit generated was 1,900. 1,900. So what we need to do here? What we need to do here? We need to eliminate this, that unrealized profit. We need to eliminate that unrealized profit. So what we need to do with respect to this 1,900, 1,900, this one, unrealized profit. May profit take a cotton of the pen and a metti. May a cotton of the revenue, cost of sales, other income or expenses. Yeah. This 1,900 worth of profit. Where yeah, can we see that? Where it may be included. Equipment deka pikunala. Apple PLC, Orange PLC, Bakari equipment, Bakari machine deka pikunala. Bikunala deal, it does now see a profit deka take. It got a Bikuna de la Bicha lavia. Cotton the deal. What come up? Bikuna, Bikuna de Pasilab in the lavia, Cotton the Satan win. It is being recorded under. Other income, you know, other income method name for the other unrealized profit. It does now see ya. So we need to 
exclude that. 1900 unrealized profit. Unrealized profit. What come up? We could not pass the lab. We are again a lab. We are not going to do what come with me. Lab. We are not other income. Well, take a yapi other income. Well, you know, a dukari unrealized profit. Right. Then we have this. Seven hundred and sixty. What is this? Unrealized profit generated by a sale from A to L. From A to L. Here we have A has sold a stock to Lemon PLC worth of fifteen thousand two hundred, and it has been resulted in an unrealized profit worth of seven hundred and sixty. This is an intercompany sale amount. Intercompany sale amount. Ito ko tumpa din. Apple PLC make a sale ka kundi na record karke na tiyan naman the same amount Lemon PLC has recorded under cost of sales fifteen thousand two hundred. A has recorded under sales. L has recorded under cost of sales. So first we need to eliminate that. Intercompany sales transaction fifteen thousand two hundred on intercompany sales from the cost of sales. Also, we need to eliminate intercompany sales. Apple PLC when the main revenue get that will be balus does this yet lemon PLC give me. Tunlaksha had to have thus at the sea upon a high to the minimum palus thus this year at in the Edekatamaya be made eliminate intercompany sales value. What is the unrealized profit amount? Unrealized profit amount that is 760 that also need to be eliminated. Profit taking I mean no owner, profit take a do with no owner, profit take a do karanana. What we need to do. What we need to do. So this is linked with what? This is linked with inventory. Right? This is linked with inventory. Inventory got the katama link pilati in closing inventory got the eta kota oya unrealized profit take a young known of cotton. This 760 need to be adjusted under which caption? Within the inventory is pen and cotton under cost of sales. Under cost of sales. So we need to do what? We need to increase our profit or decrease our profit. Unrealized profit, tiya na mahat siya heta. Then na pito na may profit. Take a bedi kara gan na the adu kara gan na the tiya group retained earnings debit. Debit kara na magir kaya na profit take a bedi bena na the adu bena na the. But should our profit figure goes up or should it goes down? Adu bena na the bedi bena na. Retained earnings is an equity component which carries a credit balance. So debiting means the balance should go down. Again, what we know the yes. How do we know? How do we know? Debit we know. Again, how do we know? Seven hundred and sixty. Profit. How do we run the name? Cost of sales. How do we run the name? How do we run the name? Profit eka adu karan na na. Right. We need to debit group retain the earnings. Profit figure needs to go down. Api realize kare gat na thi. Atre me realize vechche na thi. Profit hat siya hata piye ni eka api profit taking adu enno. Profit taking adu enno. Adu karan na na. Cost of sales vedi karan na o na the. Adu karan na o na the. Manghaan e minne me mithand. Api ekatu karan na o na the. Adu karan na o na the. What we need to do? But the grammar. We need to decrease the profit. Therefore, we need to yes, we need to increase cost of sales. Cost of sales very current now. You know, we are them very current. It's a my impact when it for fit take out win. So we need to at seven hundred and sixty here unrealized profit. 
ये ना खाली ने के एक आधा इनकम वाले का थे that is the sale of an asset sale of an equipment तो वो इतने यार रिकॉर्ड करेगी ना तीन ही आधा इनकम में तो इतनी ना इनकरान हो रिकॉर्ड करेगी ना तीन ना तेरी ना इनकरान हो but here this is intercompany sale of invent sale of a stock right okay Seven hundred and sixty. We have considered. Then seven hundred and fifty. This time, what A has sold to O. Apple PLC has sold to Orange PLC. Right. Here we have it. Apple PLC have sold to Orange PLC. That is why these workings are really important. Like if you have it here and there, it will consume lot more time. Since we have these workings, we can clearly see. See, A has sold to Orange. Not only the unrealized profit, we have mapped what the amount of the sales transaction eighteen thousand. So eighteen thousand need to be eliminated. Need to be eliminated from sales as well as cost of sales eighteen thousand. Intercompany sales. By looking at the working directly, we can obtain that. Directly, we can observe that. <clears throat> right? A has sold to Orange PLC and stock worth of eighteen thousand. This has been recorded by A as a sale and by Orange as a cost of sales. So we need to eliminate from those both of those captions. Then the unrealized profit amount generated from this transaction is seven hundred and fifty. Seven hundred and fifty. What we need to do? We need to add it under cost of sales. Unrealized profit. Unrealized profit. Tells we are having. We are referring this column, ma. Go pretend the earnings column. The column that we have, bala bala, tamai comprehensive and consolidated comprehensive income statement. Take a hard one. Then what we have? Goodwill impairment. Goodwill impairment. What is the goodwill impairment value here? Although we are Since we are using the fair value method to assess NCI, this impairment needs to be allocated between NCI and but group retained earnings between parent company shareholders and NCI. But remember, when preparing the consolidated statement of profit and loss, we need to consider the total impairment. That is six thousand five hundred coming under administration expenses. Six thousand five hundred. This is goodwill impairment of it. Eleven years. It expenses again, right? So we need to add it back to the add it under administration expenses. Six thousand five hundred. That is the goodwill impairment of Lemon PLC, and there is a goodwill impairment with respect to Orange PLC as well. The total amount what we need to consider that is thousand eight hundred, thousand eight hundred. We need to add it under administrative expenses. Goodwill impairment of Orange PLC. Good bill impairment of Orange PLC. Right. So we have considered the good bill impairment as well. And these things post acquisitions, right? We do not need to consider post acquisition profits, right? General reserves, parent companies, year end amounts. Those are not. 
come in under adjustments. Right. So under group retained earnings column, we have considered all, but we have some more to consider. Here, see, post acquisition retained earnings of Lemon PLC and post acquisition retained earnings of Orange PLC. So these post acquisition amounts also we have adjusted, right? So we need to reflect these adjustments in the consolidated statement of profit and loss. Right, we'll take, we'll consider this one first, post acquisition retained earnings of Lemon PLC. What are the adjustments that we have made during the year? Varsheta Adalvakaladin adjustments, we have adjusted for under amortization, right? Under amortization, 9,500. Under amortization of 9,500. But again, this 9,500 is for how many years? Me Navadas Pansiya Ave Aurudu Kiya Karade. See, as at the acquisition date, we had a fair value adjustment, which has resulted in an intangible asset worth of 19,000 and the useful life was assessed as six years. Acquire Karagana Davasi, Lemon PLC, assets liabilities, a fair value commission Karadi, Apitavirum Gadd, Tam Potola Report Villa Nati, intangible asset Karakirama. The useful life gas is called from 1st of April 2016 to 31st March 2019. For three years, for three years, the under amortization amount reflects 9,500. May Namadas Pansi and I'm a current financial year. What is the amount relevant for our current financial year? That is what 9,500 over 3. 3,166. 3,166. 3,166 under amortization. Doing amortized Velati in a Mapiaka expense account with the other owner amount three thousand one hundred and sixty seven out of the gun under amortization. Right under amortization three thousand one hundred and sixty seven. That need to be considered under administration expenses under amortization. Depreciation or not, amortization or not, that is how many consider that admin expenses are That is why we have added it here. So we have considered this under amortization. Then the loan interest. Loan interest of thousand nine hundred. Thousand nine hundred. This one. Thousand nine hundred. Loan interest. Where we should reflect it. This is an expense. May expense it up. May be in a financial statements. May be in a PNL. So reflect in net. Right. This 1900 does not reflect there, so we need to identify that. We need to identify that. 1900 loan interest should come under finance cost. Finance cost. This is loan interest. 1900 should come under finance cost. Loan interest. What else? With respect to post acquisition of orange PLC, we have an over depreciation value of 475. 475. See here, 475. See, 
when was the transaction date? First of April 2018. This is over depreciated. We financially. From 1st of April 2018 to 31st March 2019. Over depreciated amount is 475. What we need to do? Over depreciate Kerala. Harasi had the Baha. Vadipura Shere Kerala Harasi had the Baha. Admin expenses settle Vadipura Abunagan at the key at the Harasi had the Baha. A copy Adukara. We need to be done that. Minus 475. This is over depreciation. Over depreciation. Right. So these are the adjustments that we need to make, right? So these are the adjustments that we need to make. Now we can have the final figures. Final figures. Minus 15,200 minus 18,000. Cost of sales, sum of these three, then the adjustments minus 15,200 plus 760 minus 18,000 plus 750. So the gross profit group, gross profit figure should be 9,330. 9,000, 9, sorry, 933,290. Gross profit figure. Other income, there is an adjustment there as well. So from the total, we need to deduct 1900. Admin expenses, there are several adjustments again. From the sum, for the sum, we need to add 6500 plus another 1800 plus 3167 minus 475. Distribution expenses, there are no any other adjustments with respect to distribution expenses, but for finance cost, there are adjustments. Plus 4291 plus 1900. What is the expenses? No adjustments, so we can consider the sum of these three figures that is 13,000. So, profit grew, profit before tax should be 158,307. From that, we need to deduct the tax expense that is 64,600. 64,600. Therefore, the group profit for the year should be 93,707. Now, may highlight color the name again in the meat or leg and nipa. You got to think about So, we so this sum does not reflect these adjustments. That is why always we need to refer to the current color. Current color. Right. Then what is our next task? This profit for the year need to be allocated between whom? Parent company shareholders and NCM. Varshita Adal group profit ekar api parent company shareholders that I NCI portion nikai venama allocate kala venana owner. How can we do that? Right. Profit for the year attributable to NCI. Profit for the year attributable to NCI. What is the profit for the year with respect to lemon PLC? NCI in lemon PLC, I mean, subsidiaries they can lemon PLC will 25%, orange PLC will 30%, NCI percentages. First, we'll consider lemon PLC. What is the profit they have earned during the year? Varasheta Adalava Miala Kiya Koyala Tiyanamad. That is 21,700. 
that is why taking these figures in this manner right will be more useful straight away we can see the figure 21700 me kwalata vena vena ma liya gan nathu ekata ekata kala liyannath puluwan like what we have done here in when preparing this consolidated statement of financial position but again right if you supposed to see these figures then you will struggle especially right it is in the proportion if we have considered proportionate amounts right lemon plc the profit for the year they have earned 21700 21700 right do we need to adjust this profit may profit take adjust when the owner the yes this profit need to be adjusted from our work in see post acquisition retained earnings of lemon b as the retained earnings means profit profit has been adjusted for these two items under amortization and loan interest right. under amortization this is the amount for three years what is the amount relevant for our current financial year when mama does fancy again again how to turn a better it would have a current financial year get a other like a key and the sorry three thousand one hundred and sixty seven so from this we need to deduct 3167 and the loan interest what is the amount 1900 parshet adala profit take a maker under amortization ekai loan interest ekai maker tempak win no adjust win no Right. Then from the remaining amount, we need to consider the NCI percentage, which is 25%. Which is 25%. Of it is 25%, right? Yes. 11 PLC NCI percentage is 25%. So this is with respect to 11 PLC. For this, we need to add the Profit for the year attributable to NCI with respect to orange PLC. Lemon PLC again when the mature for some attribute when no NCI letter. Ava game of your orange PLC profit again. Key up other shareholders that I am now to the Gilad Barana. So they have earned a profit worth of 13,200. 13,200. From that, what we need to adjust for? Just over depreciation, right? Over depreciation, 475. Not to deduct, but to add 475. That is why we have added 475. Right? And one more thing we need to adjust for the goodwill impairment. Goodwill impairment as we have considered fair value method in assessing NCI. Right. See here. As a result of goodwill impairment, the NCI of Lemon PLC has been reduced by what figure? 1625. That one also we need to consider here. Minus 1625. With respect to orange PLC, what? That is 540. 540. For, we need to consider from this what is the NCI percentage that is 30 percent 30 percent 30 percent simplify this 
minus 3167 minus 1900 minus 1625 from this 25 percent and we need to add what 30,200 plus 475 minus 540. Thirty percent. Thirty percent. The amount is seven thousand six hundred and ninety-three. Kita kote methi ni group profit taker. Group profit taker. Other shareholders kita aithi kote sir. Habdas Haisia anu tunai. 7,693. The remaining amount, remaining amount, which is 86,015, is belonging to whom? Belonging to the parent company shareholders. Varsheta Adala group for big taker. Other shareholders that I, parent company shareholders that I allocate Karapikata my maker. And Eighty the eighty six thousand and fifteen for the parent company shareholders, seven thousand six hundred and ninety three for the NCI or for the other shareholders. Right, and we have other comprehensive income as well. The total of other comprehensive income is nine thousand. It means our total comprehensive income is 102,707. Total comprehensive income. This also needs to be allocated between what whom? Parent company shareholders and other shareholders. Right? Parent company shareholders and other shareholders. Now it is easy because we have done the work in here, right? What is the adjustment that we need to make? With respect to Lemon PLC, there are no any other comprehensive income. So we need not to adjust this part. We have adjust current no, right? Lemon PLC will other comprehensive income, right? But with respect to Orange PLC, there is a other comprehensive income worth of 1,400 that need to be considered here that need to be considered here that is the only adjustment we need to make so what should be the figure there now we can consider the same formula From this, we need to add another 1,400. Therefore, the total comprehensive income that need to be allocated or attributable to non-controlling interest or the other shareholders should be 8,130. The remaining amount, which is 94,595, should be attributable to parent company shareholders. Right? So likewise, when preparing consolidated statement of comprehensive income, we need to allocate profit for the year between parent company shareholders and NCI, as well as the total comprehensive income. Both need to be separately allocated between parent company shareholders and other shareholders. <laughs> 